Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dimitri. I'm going to show you how to work with uh, k-means uh, algorithms in Python. So let's start as usual. Let's import our numpy pandas and matplot, okay? For k-means, you also need to import this. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in. All right, sklearn.cluster import k-means, all right? All right, let's start just creating our first vector. We're going to call it market. And uh, we're going to bring, we're going to import our data. So I have this file, CSV file. So parentheses, and the name of this file is market.csv. Perfect. So let's run this control enter and we got our uh, market data frame over here okay it has hundred of uh, rows and four columns we're gonna be working just with two columns all right purchases and credit scores uh, variables all right let's keep going with this um let's create our x and we're gonna call this market all right, which is our same market from here. Then we're gonna type I lock, and we're gonna bring all the all the lines. Then we're gonna bring um, our column two and three, and then we gotta type values. Remember that in um, Python the indexes start from zero, right? So column one is uh, index zero column two is index one so i want to import here the column two and three sounds good all right let's uh, keep moving so let's select this control enter all right we got our, our new vector here hundred of rows but now we have just two columns okay that's perfect all right let's start fitting our model all right for this part we're just gonna go with k means equals to k capitals which is this one over here all right k means then we're gonna go and select number of clusters clusters for this example, we're going to be working with four clusters. All right. Now we're going to create another vector. We're going to call it y underscore k means is equal to this k means and we're going to use this method fit predict and then we gotta get our x all right uh, looks like it it's okay now let's select this let's run it perfect so we have our other vector over here okay it's just gonna show us like um cluster zero one two three which is pretty much our four uh, clusters, okay? And it's gonna relate those clusters to our variables. All right, let's keep moving. Now it's time to uh, visualize our uh, clusters. So let's start with this. So let's create a scatter plot. So plt dot scatter then our x then our y underscore k means zero zero okay so this is basically our closer and this is basically our index that's how it works so again our x same thing, our uh, yk means vector, 
and then we're going to be working with the cluster number zero which is the number one right and our index is going to be one which is our column two all right it looks like everything is okay but we gotta do this for our four clusters so cluster number two cluster number three cluster number four but we gotta change the number of clusters here right so this is gonna be cluster one this is gonna be cluster two and this is gonna be cluster three which for real is uh, we have four clusters here right zero one two and three those are four clusters all right looks like everything is okay for now so uh, we're gonna run it in a second okay let's just okay let's run it now so we we can see if there isn't any problem or not Control enter there you go you have the four clusters over here right different colors let's start just adding a title and few more stuff so let's start PL let's add the title so we're gonna call it clusters all right perfect then let's start adding our X axis so label and we're gonna call this credit score all right let's do the same with the y axis y label then let's call this one purchase okay so those are millions of uh, dollars so let's try to be specific um plt legend and we're almost done with this all right all right let's run this through again and see if it works perfect so you got the title here you got the purchase in millions of dollars you got the credit score right so it's up to you guys if you want to change the colors or do more you know stuff with this um, let's try to play with this a little bit so for this uh, cluster uh, let's do label equal cluster one all right cluster one let's just copy this paste it here let's paste it here let's paste it here so we can identify like this in a better way all right so i feel like it's okay let's just run this again all right there's a uh, an error over here let's check it out so label is equal to maybe it's the space and the double parenthesis all right it should work now let's just go and select this again control enter there you go so you have cluster one cluster okay we had to change this all right cluster two cluster three four all right let's run this again this is just getting better awesome all right you have um, four clusters over here 
and you can do something even better with this all right we're gonna call this cluster low clients we're gonna call this other cluster mm. all right cluster number one is the blue one now we're gonna call this one lazy clients then let's go to cluster the green one is gonna be cluster number three we're gonna call those um low clients then we can see the cluster number two we're gonna call those the target clients and cluster number four which is the red one we're gonna call this the premium clients all right let's run this again select control enter there you go so you have the lazy clients premium clients which are the guys that they purchase a lot and they have a good credit score all right then you got the lazy clients which are the ones that have really low score but they purchase a lot then you got the this orange one this uh, the target clients they have a good credit score but their purchases are not like that high and of course the premium clients they purchase a lot and they have a good credit score all right so that was basically um the example for today i hope you guys enjoyed it was like pretty straightforward and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video